Thanks for joining me on this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also be sure to follow me on these other social media platforms. Links are in the description below. Every day is a silent retreat. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, uh, Gavin stars as uh, Jeffrey Harrington on Tyler Perry and OWN Network's show, The Haves and the Have Nots. It airs Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. on the OWN Network. Um, Gavin, seven seasons? Seven seasons. My yep. goodness. And and going. Wow. So, oh, so we're thinking about an eighth. We're thinking about it. Woo. You know, it's, it's interesting because with Good seven you. seasons, you also see everybody's life evolve. Sure. People have had yeah. kids. People are getting married. Sure. But, um, you know, it's a big family there. And I think going back, like right now, it's like a machine and it just feels like home for all of us, especially yeah. when we get to gather with, you, with each other once a year. Um, and see Tyler and be a part of the crew. Sure. Like, it's the same crew. It's the same people. Um, well, that's what's fun about all... All right, have and have not fans. Now, the clip you just saw was one of the few times I've actually seen an interview with uh, Gavin uh, Jeffrey from the Haves and Have Nots. The only other time I recall seeing, like, an interview, not, you know, like a um, behind-the-scenes featurette, you know, like on OWN, whenever they're prepping for a new season airing of the haves and have nots. They have like a bunch of the cast members talking about what it's like on set and um, what to expect in the story, but a legitimate interview and I loved it. And I will actually put a link to the full interview. I believe it's like 16 minutes long. I'll put that uh, in the description below or I'll make a comment and pin it to the top of the comment section. But um, this interview, um, a couple people shared it with me, A Series and uh, Tyler Perry crew, and they were telling me about it. I didn't know about it. Actually, I think when I did my live stream a couple days ago, somebody mentioned it in the comments, and obviously um, they went out and found it for me, saw the whole interview, sent me a link. But there's something that Gavin said during the interview that really caught my attention, and I'm pretty sure you heard it too, um, when the guy giving the interview, I believe named uh, Brett, was talking about you know you know season seven wow and gavin was like yeah and still going and i'm just like and he was like oh so are you talking about a season eight and beyond and he was like well you know we're talking about it now uh recently i did a video about you know is season seven the final season but keep in mind that was a video that was opinionated based off this photo floating off floating around the internet and in that video i go into my full thoughts you can watch that and come back to this if you want but basically you know i talked about the possibility versus if the show actually continues on something to take of note here gavin did this interview in june of 2018 so i think it was on june 14th it was uploaded to youtube on the guy's uh, youtube channel the one who actually did the interview so we can assume that june 14th obviously is not the same as September 2018 when that photo started circulating and obviously this also happened before the filming of season seven now one could definitely argue that season seven could be the last season on own which isn't unlikely when you think about it and I might actually do a separate video about an article from 2017 I cannot remember the exact follower I was talking with on Instagram about this but you know we are going back and forth of ideas about what it could mean but I'll definitely um, do a video on that separately but just keep in mind that again Gavin was talking about something months ago versus what's happening now but given the fact that Tyler Perry and the haves and the have nots is that number one show on own the number one drama series it isn't unlikely for the show to continue on after season seven, but I do think it is possible that season seven, as of right now, is the final season due to the fact that, you know, the episode count seems a bit on the flimsy side in regards to it being, I don't want to say only eight episodes, but we can, and I don't like to use this word, but we can assume that it has at least a minimum of eight based off the fact that a lot of the bigger cast photos you know where they posted photos with a bunch of the people at dinner and stuff like that they were like hey we just wrapped up episode eight and by that time a lot of the stars were getting ready to leave atlanta because they filmed everything they were needed for so I'm, I'm just saying not to mention on top of that it's not uncommon for the first seasons 
and the final seasons of television shows to be noticeably shorter or longer than the other middle seasons because of the fact that, you know, oh, okay, season one, um, this television network only ordered X amount of episodes based off the success of season one. They'll order more, if not the same for season two. Then if it's the final season, okay, um, they're only giving us a final season due to like fan fans demand and whatever. And we just need X amount of episodes to wrap things up. So we're only going to do like a dozen or less and that then we're done with that. I could possibly see that happening, but I think that we really won't get a definite answer until we get to the end of the series because it would not surprise me if Tyler Perry ended season seven on a cliffhanger because it's undecided as to what the fate of the haves and have nots is going to be, meaning that there is a possibility we can get it picked up on BET. That's just my theory. But uh, Gavin uh, definitely gave a great interview, talked about what it was like to meet Tyler and Oprah for the first time. What is it like to audition for different roles on different shows and movies? Um, What it's like being on set with the rest of the cast members? A very good interview, definitely. So I recommend checking it out. And once again, I'll put a link to it in the description or pin a comment to the top of the comment section below. But um, remember, guys, this interview was from June 14th. So I don't want people saying like, well, Jeremy posted this video at the end of September. So Gavin, he definitely confirmed it. Remember, he said they're talking about it. And once again, when you look at the haves and the have nots when he did this interview in June compared to the ratings and the notoriety of the show in September, because uh, once again, the fact that the show was pretty much advertised during the Aretha Franklin funeral, you know, when the pastor or whoever was leading the ceremony talked about how the haves and the have nots was her favorite show. A bunch of the stars were there. Tyler Perry was there. Then on top of that, you know, the Jeffrey Owens thing, which was definitely big in the media. And that's when it was made public. Tyler Perry offered him a role on the haves and the have nots. Now John Snyder's on Dancing with the Stars. And mostly his theme is, of course, being known as the guy from the Dukes of Hazard, but viewers will again recognize him from the haves and the have nots. And oh yeah, he was at the Aretha Franklin funeral. So folks, all I'm saying is I feel like the popularity popularity of the show could definitely suggest, not confirm, but suggest that the show will go beyond season seven. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll talk to you on the next video.